Let me open the lesson. Good morning. This is June the 6th, Thursday, 2024, and we are in BBIS second semester, where one of us has been presenting on cultural variability perspective, and she has been talking about individualist and collectivist uh, tendencies. Now let's invite Vigya for further presentation. Yes, Vigya, you can use this clip. On this side. And Vigya, we are being recorded, and this recording goes on YouTube and Facebook. Is it okay? Okay. Let me bring them. Uh, Listen to her silently and note down if there is something to note down. Yes, go on. Conversely, the same concept that companies and inter inter interdependent control of self includes an attentiveness and responsiveness to others that either explicitly or implicitly assumes that assumes will be reciprocated by these others as well as willful management of one's on other focused feelings and desire so as to maintain the and further the reciprocal interpersonal relationship. Okay, explain this. Explain this paragraph. What is it saying? Explain it. I'll explain it. So, so can I this okay, okay. Reciprocal two-way. You help me, I help you. This is reciprocal. You give me some money, I give you some money, reciprocal, two way. So let me help you, let me help you. So in this section, we are talking about self-concept, right? And there are two types of self-concepts. One is independent self, and the other is interdependent self, right? Independent self is in individual culture, right? Interdependent self is in collectivistic culture, right? So this is the concept about the self. Now, now, I'll help you, I'll help you. Now the writer is talking about interdependent self. What is interdependent self? Look, she was trying to explain. She faced difficulty to explain. I moved forward and I said, okay, Vicky, I'll help you. So C depends on this teacher to present, right? So her self is interdependent because she was not able to do this explanation on her own. She called me for help or I came forward to help. She depended on me. So her self is interdependent. Now in my case, because I'm a teacher, I'm explaining without her support, without your support, so I can explain this on my own. So my self is independent. My self is independent. Her self is interdependent. If you depend upon others, you have interdependent self. If you don't rely upon others, you have independent self. In individualist cultures like America, have independent self. 
because they say, I won't depend on you, I will try myself. Whereas, collectivist cultures like Nepal or Asia have interdependent self. They seek help of other people and they give help to other people. Now read here. So this passage is talking about interdependent self. What are the features of interdependent self? Now look here. Attentiveness and responsiveness to others. Look, she was presenting. She read line by line. I said, could you explain what it means? She asked me, Divakar sir, what does the word reciprocal, reciprocal mean? I told the meaning to her. I felt that she is having difficulty explaining. So before she could try, I came forward. I came forward. I responded. And I said, okay, Vigya, wait. I'll help you. What is this? This is attentiveness and responsiveness to others. I attended this student's needs and I responded her needs and came forward to help her. So I have interdependent self. What kind of self do I have? Interdependent self. Why is my self interdependent? Because I am always ready to pay attention to other people and I am willing to respond and help other people, right? Now, now look, as I help her, as I respond to her, what do I assume? I assume that as now I'm helping her in future, next time, next day, next class, Vigya also will help me back. So in collectivist cultures, the self is interdependent, which means we respond to other people, we attend to other people, and we expect other people also to respond to us and attend to our needs when necessary. Two-way expectation, right? Then, look here. Besides this, this interdependent self is willful management of one's other focused feelings. Look, interdependent self always focuses on the other. Interdependent self always considers the other. Interdependent self always takes care of the other. Takes care of the other's feeling, other's desires. Why? To maintain reciprocal interpersonal relationship. Interdependent self aims to maintain good two-way relationship. It aims to maintain good two-way relationship. And understand that for interdependent self in collectivist cultures, relationship is more important. Whereas for independent self in individualist cultures, relationship is less important. Solving the issue is more important. I repeat, for individualist cultures which have independent self, for them, the verbal message is important, the issue is important, the goal is important, the purpose is important, resolving the conflict is important, solving the problem is important. Relationship is not important. Whereas, on the other hand, for collectivist cultures which have interdependent or connected self, for such cultures, solving the issue is secondary. Facing the, saving the face is primary. Saving the prestige is primary. Maintaining good 
रिलेशनशिप इज प्राइमरी मेकिंग द अदर फील गुड इज प्राइमरी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द अदर पार्ट इज प्राइमरी डिडी गेट ओके बी गेट इट ने कम बैक यू पिक अप one is conscious of where one belongs with respect to others a respect let me let me move it up slightly towards these others continually adjusting adjusting accommodating to the to these others in many aspects of behaviors such acts of fitting and fitting in and accommodating are often intrinsically rewarding because they give rise to pleasing other focused emotions for example feeling of the connection while diminishing on pleasing ones furthermore because of self restraint required in doing so forms an important basis of self esteem okay so in this section what are we talking about are we talking about the interconnected self or are we talking about the uh, 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 independent self this is about interdependent self right and see the we are reading the characteristics of interdependent self as you read look this self is conscious where one belongs to where you are with whom i am talking what time on i am talking so interdependent self is more aware about the context i repeat interdependent self is more aware about the context to whom i am talking where i am talking what time i am talking what are other people doing interdependent self is very much aware about the environment of the communication right besides that look here it has a receptive stance it listens carefully to other people it attends other people right it adjusts himself according to the need of the other it accommodates himself according to the requirement of the others right it fits himself to the other and then it focuses on the other it understands the feelings of the other it establishes proper connection with the other it has self control so in conclusion the interdependent self is more focused toward the other it is more focused toward the other go on i want you to read and explain read and explain because when you explain you understand go on cultural variability of independent versus interdependent cultural of self frames are existential experience and serves an anchoring point in terms of how we view our competitive actions and ourselves for example if we follow an independent cultural of self orientation our communicative actions will tend to be more self focused more ego based and more self expressive now look the difference so far the writer was talking about interdependent self from here he finishes talking about interdependent self and now he starts talking about what self independent self and he says independent self is what kind of independent self is focused on self based on ego self expressive i give importance to myself i focus on my own needs less on her needs and i i speak more so in a sense do you see have you realized in the last 20 minutes as a teacher i am not letting her speak a lot i say read then i come in and explain so do you see divakar sir is more self expressive in class right 
in that sense if you compare herself and myself you can feel that divakar sar sar self is more independent it is more in dependent because it is self expressive her self is dependent so it is less self expressive a dependent self is less self expressive independent self is more self expressive kuni communication ma dui da party madhe euta le afai matre badi bolne afai interfere garne to purai hijack garne huncha ma jasto te bha bhane that is more more dependent self sorry inter sorry dependent self no i i, I made a mistake I, independent self go on Okay, Considering the value we place on our particular self-conception also influences the criteria we use to perceive and evaluate others' communicative actions. To illustrate, if we follow an interdependent construct of self-orientation, we will tend to use group norms, group interest, and group responsibility to interpret and evaluate others' conflict behaviors. Okay, wait. So, if you have interdependent self, what do you do? You follow what norms? You follow rule of the group. You follow interest of the group, and you follow responsibilities of the group. Wait a minute. Azur aur aaja sabhi jana sange bostu baat sa ke naam azur ko? Abhishek. Abhishek azur ko? Suya ke azur ko? Asis azur ko? Ravi. रवि क्या रवि हो लुटे नहीं बोलने रवि भी क्लास में छाइन घर में हरा यहाँ के नाम हजर को श्लोक हजर को आयुष हजर को एक दुई तीन चार पांच छजना संगे बस् अगि बड़ा बोले 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 कर एकदम डिस्टर्ब कर यो नगर ल प्लिज छजना संगे बस्ने चाँसो नराखने वी निड अ टेन्सन नो यू आर रियली डिस्टर्बिंग द क्लास एंड दिस इज नट गुड मूव एट एक पख तो हजर बाहर गईस मैं तार लाइन लाइन वाला हजर आइस तो एकदम गाड़ो भाई आइस 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 हजर बाहर गईस आराम ले बाहर गई आइस 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 और खास खाजा खाइस मैं गाली नगरी सो लाइर बरू मैं थैंक यू भाई हजू हजू बाहर गई सीन हजार यहाँ आइस यहाँ आइस यहाँ 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 आइस यहाँ उल्लेस यहाँ आइस बोलने चांस कम हो अब हे न हजर मैं पनीस रेकर्डिंग भैर उ हे कहो भो डाटा बस भाई ओके रिडिट ओवरअल or explain why people in some cultures are more likely to prefer prefer certain approaches or modes of conflict negotiation than people in other cultures ah uh, so the question is why people deal differently with the conflict the question is why do people deal differently with the conflict I repeat the question: Why do people tackle intercultural communication conflict differently? The simple answer comes: People tackle intercultural communication communication conflict differently because they belong to different cultures. For example, if they belong to individualistic cultures like America, they have independent self, 
which is ego-centered, self-expressive, and which does not pay attention to others, which does not look at group interest, which does not look at group need, which does not look at group responsibility. So such people who are self-focused, they will deal with the conflict differently from those people who belong to collectivist cultures where their self is interdependent or connected. As a result, such people from collectivist culture pay more attention to other people, pay more attention to group need, group responsibility, group interest, are more focused on non-verbal cues. Therefore, people coming from different cultural orientations deal with the communication conflict in a different way. Why? Because they have different conception of the self. They have different conception of the self. Imagine she is an American, I am Asian. So she herself is independent as an American. Her self is self-focused. Her self is egocentric. Her self is self-expressive. And she is more interested in verbal message. She is more interested in solving problem. She is more interested in achieving the goal. On the other hand, my self is interconnected self. My self is interdependent self. As a result, I focus more on the group. I focus more on group's interest, group's responsibility. And uh, I focus more on relationship. I focus more on relationship. I focus more on saving pace. I focus more on saving pace and relationship. Whereas she focuses less on saving pace, less on relationship, and more on solving the issue. Because she is individualist, I am collectivist. Because her self is independent, my self is interdependent. That is why we two people do not tackle communication conflict the same way. We address conflicts differently because we belong to different cultures. She will focus more on solving the issue. I will focus more on protecting my good relation with you. When I expelled these six people out, I was more individualistic. Because I'm sure these four people who were expelled out, outside, they are cursing me, they are abusing me, they don't like me, they hate me. I have broken my relation with them. I have broken my relation with them. So I'm more like American. I'm more like American. Look, my class was having noise. See the example. There was conflict in my classroom. Bigya and me were explaining the paragraph. And the four guys at the back, they were disturbing us. So what did I do? I focused more on solving the problem rather than maintaining good relation. So what did I do? I threw them out. I kicked them out. And, and now I'm pretty sure the four guys who have been put out, they are angry with me. My relation with them may not be good, but the problem is solved. The problem is solved. So right now in this class, I had a communication problem. I had a conflict. What was the conflict? We two were explaining and these four were not listening, making noise. So what approach did I follow? Did I follow individualist approach or collectivist? I followed individualist approach. I became harsh. I became strict. I did not worry about relationship. I said, Risari Sauncha. Gali Gari Gansa. I expelled. Because my focus was more on solving the problem, less on saving the relationship. 
whereas in collectivist culture i would not expel them because for me solving the problem is less important making them feel good is more important is that clear did you understand okay come again you read will explain no problem mm. you can use this task screen you can use where are you wait a minute yes आत्यो ताने भन्थ्यो तल जान्छ कि नानी यो कमेन्ट ताने भने तल जान्छ ओके 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 नाउ वी मूव टु नेक्स्ट हेडिङ राइट लो कन्टेक्स्ट एन्ड हाई एक्सप्लेन गर त तलाई लो कन्टेक्स्ट एन्ड हाई कन्टेक्स्ट लो कन्टेक्स्ट एन्ड हाई कन्टेक्स्ट कम्युनिकेसन फ्रेमवर्क हेल्प्स टु इन विथ आवर अंडरस्ट्यान्डिङ ओके वेट वेट बिफोर लेट्स टेल द क्लास व्हाट इज लो कन्टेक्स्ट एन्ड व्हाट इज हाई कन्टेक्स्ट to understand our communications in individuals no no tetana jo pehla pehla explain the word what do you mean by low context high context right now i am speaking to you right so look communication listen carefully hello or by the nepal or human chain aira chai hello communication which depends more on words more on words is low context that is low context communication which depends more on the surrounding and the situation that is high context what is context look aaj class mein ke bhai sadhale nikalnu pare ni disturb bhayo ni halla bhayo ni mannu bhayo ni pehle samjha फिर मैं से निकले नहीं मैं पहले तैं गए समझा आए फर्क आए नहीं यहाँ तैं गए सोधे समझाए अब हल्ला नगर्ला यहाँ आए झन हल्ला गए मैं निल दिए यो क्लास को कम्युनिकेसन में तो हल्ला इन्क्लूड गयो दिस इज द कंटेक्स्ट यू कैन से टुडेज इंग्लिश क्लास वॉज नोइजी टुडेज इंग्लिश क्लास वॉज नोइजी सो कंटेक्स्ट मीन्स who is speaking we two who is listening you 20 people what time around 9 o'clock where at lsm college in kathmandu university when on june 6 2024 what day on thursday how was the surrounding it was quite hot and people were feeling difficult to study uh, what was going on many of them were not listening to teacher they making noise this is context context means all other elements besides the words you are saying so if your communication depends more on the verbal message i repeat look at me if your communication depends more on the words you speak bole si bujhne ke garna parne you say and they get it you speak and they get it this is low context if your communication the verbal communication message depends on other factors like right now you can see my gesture you see my hands what i am doing when i said like other factors if your communication depends more on facial expression body language posture gesture eye contact facial expression space occupation surrounding environment audience and other factors this is high context this is high context and collectivist cultures have high context that's why if two saudi arabians are speaking as friends if there are two saudi arabians in that room he will and they are having a conversation he will think they are fighting why because they speak very loudly mero ghar ma bhuitala ma india ko manche basnu huncha rati 10 baje pachi eti halla shuru garnu huncha kinaki waha 10 baje pasal bandh gara aunu huncha ani 10 baje pachi waha ko khana pakaune kaam shuru huncha dui jana basnu huncha ani waha ro jhagda shuru garnu huncha sangai basnu huncha eude room ma room share garnu huncha khana pani sangai pakaunu huncha sangai khanu jara jhagda pani khub garnu huncha ani ma mathi char tala mathi mala nidre lagna halla bhayo high context high context they 
पीपल इन हाई कंटेक्स्ट कल्चर्स मेक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन पीपल इन हाई कंटेक्स्ट कल्चर्स मेक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन लाइक जेस्टर्स बॉडी पोस्टर एंड दे स्टे वेरी क्लोज दे स्टे वेरी क्लोज वेर एज पीपल इन लो कंटेक्स्ट कल्चर्स यूज लेस नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन मोर वर्बल दे आर डायरेक्ट दे स्पीक क्लियरली एंड नॉट ओनली स्पीक दे प्रीफर कम्युनिकेटिंग इन राइटिंग दे प्रिफर कम्युनिकेटिंग इन राइटिंग हम कस प्रमिश कर मुख्य पुग्स नहीं हमें लेखक ने भेन ओवर दे दे प्रिफर रिटर्न रिटर्न वट यू कल सर्डिनिटी राइट ओके सो लेट्स रीड इट अब पढ़ तला मूव है सो वेन यू वेन यू प्रेजेंट लेट्स बिगिन विद द वर्ड व्हाट इज लो कंटेक्स्ट व्हाट इज आई ओके रीड इट रीड इट पढ़ हाई कंटेक्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शंस फीचर्स प्री प्रोग्राम इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज रिसीवर एंड इन द सेटिंग ओनली मिनिमल इंफॉर्मेशन इज इन द ट्रांसमिटेड मैसेज लाइक वाइज इन लो कंटेक्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शंस आर रिजॉल्व रिवर्स ऑफ द हाई कंटेक्स्ट most of the information must be in, in the transmitted message in order to make up what is missing in the context okay give me the pen look look here what she said very important thing look here high context transactions what are they pre programmed information in high context cultures communication the listener the co actor the audience has some idea about what we will be talking they are pre information what will he is he going to say there are cues there are signals there are hints which tell the audience the co actor what we will talk the co actor knows the context the co actor knows the topic the co actor knows the subject matter the audience has good idea about what we are going to talk that is called pre programmed information that is in the receiver you are the receiver in this class i am the provider you are the receiver i am the actor you are the co actor i am the speaker you are the audience so the audience knows for example in today's class you pretty well know what we will talk right you know pretty well what we will talk so the receiver knows then look what is setting the setting up for example you knew this is english class there was no confusion so you took out english books when i came you knew this is english teacher you knew bigya might be called to present today agadi bhule chai lagay thyo sala dakhnu nasa bhisira thyo anandale pachi mane bolaye ta haina pigne mane bolaye you knew you knew bigya and divakar sir will talk about cultural variability perspective you have this information because our lesson is continuing from yesterday's lesson so the setting setting helps you to know the information then minimal information in the message now look so what is the point high context communication depends more on setting more on setting less on the message less on the message whereas low context transmission are look reverse information must be in the transmitted message in low context complete information is given verbally either you write or you speak right then only people can understand agadi padha what is the time we will stop here tapai le yo lesson padnu bhayo thyo ghar ma padnu bhayo cha ale padnu bhayo cha पढ़दी भाई हमें बुझा सहयोग हो थैंक यू आज तो निल्पर्यो सेमिस्टर भरी में फर्स्ट टाइम ये भाई हई मैं लास्ट निकाले थे